The demand for shared ownership has definitely increased, especially in recent years with prices going up and up. We have actually a lot of, of our housing stock is in fantastic areas and it feels great to be able to offer that to people. Location is key. Nobody really wants to buy a home just because it's somewhere they can afford. It really wants to be somewhere that they're going to be happy to live. We make sure that we're a cut above the rest. Buying a home, you rightly should expect for that to be extremely high quality. A typical shared ownership purchaser usually have been renting privately up to that point. I had been living in shared private rental accommodation and two of my housemates moved out and got a shared ownership place. Um, so we made the decision that we were all going to move out and, and let the tenancy go. The flat price was £250,000 and I thought, oh my God, like we can never afford that. But we had a discussion with uh, Roxanne at l &Q. And she explained us actually that we don't have to pay the whole amount of the flat because uh, we could get it uh, as a share ownership property and we could be able to only buy uh, like 40% of the flat, which is a hundred thousand pound. And uh, we're really, really, really happy about it. This property is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a spacious kitchen dining area split to over three levels. It feels more like a house. The area is brilliant for young families. They've got school close by. I know this area and it's, it's just got so much going for it. I mean, we're about a two minutes walk from the tube station on the Bakerloo line. We're zone two, so um, really well connected for transport. It's lovely. The area, the way they've been made, it just seemed like a nice place that I'd want to live. The winter garden uh, in the balcony, it allows us to uh, use the um, balcony all year round. Fantastic addition to the place. All the appliances in the kitchen are very good quality appliances with uh, eco-friendly functions. Once I've made my decision, I put my reserve fee down and filled out all the forms. Because I live and work in the borough, um, I actually came out top of the list of other people who'd, who'd also shown an interest. I had to wait about a week for the offer letter to come through, and then I had to go and see a financial advisor, and they were really helpful and really knowledgeable throughout. They are really quick at responding to everything, um, and they applied for my mortgage for me. So if there was any hiccups with that, they always went back to the mortgage lender as well and sorted it all out. It was very, very clear. We knew exactly what we were getting. We knew exactly what we were signing up for. We didn't feel like we were getting sort of lost in this weird, complicated system. It took about five weeks, I think, between putting my reserve money down and getting the keys. The formal market value of the flat was £290,000. We bought a 30% share. Um, and it works out to be about a thousand pounds a month. I know that renting a one bed in this this area would be between twelve and fifteen hundred, and that would be for probably quite a pokey one bed, damp basement flat. This is a really huge, spacious two bed. It cost me one thousand one hundred, but that's with the rent and the service charge and the mortgage. It's really nice after a stressful day of work to come home to a place that's yours, that we've made our own, that, that is our home, that we've made nice together. It's our little bit of London. Thank you to LMQ for changing my life, for changing our life. I'm content and I'd really like to thank LMQ for giving me the opportunity to have such a lovely place to live in.